Hi guys, I think I've already read this book to some of you when you were in my first grade classroom, but it is one of my favorites because it is so funny and it teaches a great lesson. It is titled Tech, the Modern Cave Boy. Tech, the Modern Cave Boy. Look at how this book is constructed. It might look like a device if you look really close. And keep track right here of the power bar. Once upon a time, way, way back, a long time ago, or maybe yesterday, there lived a little cave boy named Tech. Tech was pretty much your typical triglodyte child. Yes, he did have a beard, but everything was kind of hairy back then. Ugh. All cave boys lived in caves, of course. But the problem with this cave boy was that he never wanted to leave his. Even when friends came to visit. Hi, Tech! Ugh. In the evening, an eerie glow came from Tech's cave, making it impossible to see the twinkling stars above. Beep boop bop. Tech stayed alone in his cave room, glued to his phone, his tablet, and his game box all day, all night, all the time. Beep boop bop. You should have never invented the internet, Tech's mom grunted to Tech's dad. Outside, the real world was evolving, but Tech couldn't have cared less. Beep beep. Ugh. And look at this idea of evolving in this illustration here. Tech missed out on all the winter fun during the Ice Age. Boop, bop, beep. He never even learned his dinosaur names, identifying them instead as a whatchamacallosaurus, a who's datasaurus, or a flying I don't give a dactyl. The hours, days, and months were slipping by. My brain may be the size of a walnut, but even I know that it is not a healthy situation, said his best friend, Larry. I wish Tech would come out and play. Beep, beep, beep. Thump, thump, thump. <sighs> Tech's parents tried everything to pry him away from his gadgets, but Tech wouldn't budge. I need to light a fire under the boy's butt, grumbled Tech's dad. Except I haven't invented fire yet. Ugh, 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 boop, boop, ah! Look at the power bar. No one could get Tech's attention, not even the tribe's grand poobah, his high muckety mucks, nor Darla O'Duddy and her dinosaurs for a better tomorrow. All seemed lost. Until, beep, boop, bop, ugh. Big Papa, the village volcano had an idea. He could make fire. He could shake things up big time. So Big Papa, and those three dots means that you can like carry, they're called ellipses, and they sort of are helping the reader to anticipate what's going to happen next. But I bet you know what's going to happen next. Popped. Ugh, ugh, ugh. Look at that power bar. The eruption shot Tech and his phone tablet, his phone, tablet, and game box out of his cave and into the sky. Tech crashed. He was totally disconnected. Tech awoke, breathing in the sweet, fresh air, basking in the warm sun, and tickled by the cool grass. He wondered where he was. He looked around and discovered a dragonfly, a tiger lily, a ginkgo tree, a hairy elephant, the hairy people, an awesome, awesome saurus. The big, beautiful world. Sweet. Tech left his gadgets behind and ran to find his good friend, Larry. On his way, he kissed his dad and mom. Ugh, groaned his dad. I need to invent shaving cream. Tech hopped 
hopped onto a wheel, plucked a fresh apple, whistled to a dodo bird, and surprised his sleeping friend. Beep! Tech and Larry laughed and played all day in that sunny garden. <laughs> and in the evening, they reached for the glorious stars.